I'm going to show you how to ask AI to create a budget for you and basically a financial plan so that you can buy a house and save for retirement and uh, things that people generally would pay somebody like a financial planner or somebody to uh, build out for them, right? These are complicated issues, but you can use AI to just build this plan out for you. So I asked for a monthly budget. I said how much I make and what my rent is. And then I have a car payment of about X amount. I pay something on uh, credit cards and then I'm trying to save for a down payment on my first house. And then I'm asking for specifics. Can you provide me with a specific breakdown of how I can save to get a down payment for my first home? Um, and then I'm, you know, built in, I need to buy food and other things outside of what I mentioned. Um, I don't know the exact amount. Can you provide me with some tips on how I might save for retirement as well while I'm doing this? And then can you tell me how much house I might be able to buy in a year with a down payment of 20%? So what we do is just go ahead and hit submit. And on the right hand side, feel free to tweak any of these settings. It's pretty much uh, the essential ones are making the maximum length be turned up because what we'll see here possibly is only a certain amount of text to come out and and it looks unfinished and in which case we'll just hit submit again but uh, some of these uh, frequency presence and temperature are good ones to turn up and also best of I like to turn that up all right cool so monthly budget so this breaks down a um, all the expenses estimate and then some savings and then total expenses and then remaining monthly income and it says okay um, here's some retirement saving tips. Let's go ahead and um, look at this. And then it goes down here and says, uh, in terms of what type of house you might wanna be able to buy in one year with a 20% down payment with an average mortgage rate of 3%, you could potentially afford up to 270, 370 house. Um, and that is with um, this, this income level. So that's actually really interesting. So I broke that all down. But um, let's say that I don't think that there was enough in here and I wanna see something else. I'll just delete that, put my cursor down here in the white, hit submit, and we'll just see what it gives me again. Because basically running this more than once is sort of an indication to the AI that it's gonna to need to give you multiple inputs and it wants something different. You're gonna say, hey, uh, no, that didn't work out. Let me, let me have something different. Um, And I'm just gonna run this again because I think there's a little bit more left. Okay, great, I only had like two more sentences. But yeah, so this one, it's saying, hey, uh, at this rate, if you save this much, then you could have um, in six months, um, uh, a down payment for a house in this range, right? Sorry, I was just trying to read it. Um, but the weird thing is it didn't really say the price range, but I think it kind of guessed it. And one thing too is it's like, it's saying, um, it's saying just very broadly this like uh, number on um, interest rates. So I'm gonna say uh, interest rates right now are around 7.5%. And we'll see what it does with that new information. So I'm actually just gonna go back give the the query there some information and say like hey um, just so you know when you're advising me um, or telling me what what amount of house I could buy then you might want to think about that yeah so it's saying if you bought a 200k house 836 per month with a 20% down payment, 40K, right? So saying you need to save 40K, and then let's see, where does it tell us? Okay, great. So it says savings for down payment on a house, 1,000. Um, some stuff about retirement. And then it's pretty transparent. It says in one year's time, we get about 10K saved towards that down payment. Um, so it's, it tries to stay something optimistic here at the end, but um, and that's nice and everything, but about 10K, so you, you would need about four years to get to the level 
where you would need to be to go ahead and, and just buy this to 200k house so um, if the 20 percent down payment was required so anyhow that is a um, an interesting thing here so we could say too um, just so we can add in a variable so I could say um, can you tell me what my financial situation would look like if I got a new job making 70,000. And we'll just run that and see if it computes for both and kind of gives us a picture of where we're currently at and what would happen if we got the new job. And this is just an example of how we can get this sort of dynamic interaction with the AI to feed it new facts. It's like a conversation. So we're telling it, hey, um, maybe you want to consider this, consider that. And let's see, right? Cool. So it gives the income breakdown um, per month at, at both levels, right? And then it gives you total expenses. And then it says, hey, you have this monthly surplus. And then it's saying even how much your income has increased. And yeah, great. Cool, so it doesn't really talk too much about the exact um, amount of like uh, home cost but it does talk about like how much it would get there so obviously as you're saving for a down payment that could kind of be dynamic but we could go back and we could ask again but one thing I'll do here is I'll actually just take this and delete it and even though that was great maybe turn some of these things around and then let's see what it does like when I tweak some of those values and I'm doing that mainly just to see what sort of um, so what sort of interesting output we get because it's uh, pretty pretty dynamic depending on how we we change these right here. Cool. So it's actually pretty explicit. Um, it might take you about one and a half years. Um, Cool. And then it's still suggesting a home, a home price of about 20000 Now you could put stuff in there um, like I need to buy at least a three bedroom house. So it's uh, important to know that it doesn't, it can't like go scrape the internet necessarily for um, insight into the latest real estate market. It doesn't know like what is on Zillow right now in your area. It'll be really cool when AI on the web gets to that level where it can go and look for those type of things and give you that sort of very real-time dynamic output, but it does not have that right now. All right, cool. So yeah, so it's actually talking more about housing prices and then the mortgage rates. Yep. So it's giving us a little bit more information here and there's a little bit more to finish. So I'm going to hit submit again just to run it at the end here. Yeah, and then all it said was hope this helps. Good luck. Great. Yeah, but I mean overall this is a pretty comprehensive um, like budget based off of the information you gave it and you know you could even say everything about you know hey here's how much I made this month and here's how much I spent like a line by line and you can copy and paste a lot in here and you could see what it is you know what it's actually telling you what it's actually you know doing for you so um, with more detail it can do more I guess is what I was trying to say but anyhow, I hope this was helpful. And uh, if you want to check us out, go to openai.com and sign up and then go to, it's uh, either called chat generation or playground. They're kind of interchangeable. You should be able to find on the home page if you scroll down there. It's like a place to click if they haven't updated the website yet. 
But anyhow, I hope that this um, that you go and do this, that you check this out and actually make this plan for yourself because this is a really useful thing that you can do for free. And people do charge money for this, but AI is able to give it to us for free. But anyhow, have a good one and thanks for watching.